Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, where we are in the last park, and it's starting to look more and more like a park designed by me, <laughs> because tracks are going everywhere, and spaghetti style is once again rampant. However, the guests are coming into the park, not in big numbers right now, but look, we already have 420 guests in the park, and would you believe it, we even have a very small queue over here that has nothing to do with a lack of capacity on this ride but everything to do with the minimum depart time uh, over here and I do believe that this ride or this terrain rather is about to oh yeah <laughs> great there's a fence blocking our view but anyway, this looks rather full, so yeah, everything's good. Now, um, the other thing that's also really good is our finances. We're doing quite well. And we have this latest ride, the Floating Marshmallow. We just built it, and... Well, we don't have ratings for it, but what we can check is how this has affected uh, the other rides. And <laughs> with the other rides, I mainly mean the coaster, the plunger. So, let's see, huh? Now, before I click this, this was, from the top of my head, 6.02. Hmm? Let's see now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. 6.42. That's like almost half a point from just building a ride. We haven't even touched the scenery tab and already we're half a point up. Now, I don't think we can get this up to 7, but above 6.5 is Definitely within the range of possibilities. However, seeing that it's June, I do think that traditions are kicking in here. And, well, we don't need to do a pricing check just yet. But what we do need is a vandalism check. Is it needed, though? Um, we might be a little bit premature with this. I must admit, I do see two blobs of vomit and another one there but I don't see anything demolished as a result of it it is fairly crowded in this park oh and actually because we now have the water right over here that leads me to a thing that I do think a new handy dude is warranted because of the new ride it's not supposed to generate much vomit but just in case uh, we'll get an extra one out there I also think that an extra loose mechanic is also warranted. Park's quite big now, and if a mechanic gets a call over here and he needs to go over there, we're screwed. So, yeah, I'd better have a one on the loose, so that the closest one by always gets the call. Now, um, another thing that we need to do is um, check out how our eggheads are doing. Eggheads, how you doing? Uh, alright, the Garth Trans coming up, we just had the motion simulator and there's more coming. What do we have? We got you, you and you and the Garth Trans coming up. We need more, I don't have any of the towers and... Well, <laughs> I guess that's it actually, I don't think there is much more but... Yeah, we, we still need to keep researching this though, so that's what we'll do. Now, last time I said we would be building the boat hire, and we're going to, but not on the spot where I had planned it um, at first. Because right now, uh, how I had wanted it, you know, all for the sake of compactness, is to have the boat hire also be over here, and then perhaps have the track do a little loop there, but mainly it's being here. However, with the track of the log fume being as it is, that ain't gonna happen. No, <laughs> it, it just isn't. It's all too cramped, crowded, and, uh, well, over-covered in tracks and whatnot that I don't see us building a station, entrance, exit, all nicely hooked up with a proper track. I just don't see it happen. So, um, because that's not in the possibilities, we're going to move the station over to this side over here. And 
Well, we will have. I mean, it's the issue is not that there isn't, isn't enough space. The issue is that I don't see any possible way of getting an entrance and exit hooked up proper. It's just too tight for that. So uh, we're gonna move the station over here. Tracks are still gonna run here. And also a little bit in the back here. And we'll just hook it up to this side, you know, this this area. Which leads me to the next thing, because the station is now going to be over here. And um, probably, uh, probably the station start will be over here, and then the entrance will be here, and the exit, like, either here or here. And I'm thinking over here, actually. So that means that this is the next section to expand into. Now, it's not really that we already entirely need the space for expansion. Sure, we can always use it, but it's just how it's running with the uh, with the boat hire. So uh, yeah, let's get the let's get things going and um, let's build this boat hire, and then afterwards we'll open up the new section of the path. Uh, actually, I need to move this over by one so that the... No, and I need the... Yeah, balls, I need you. <laughs> balls! <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I was like, what a kind, what's that for kind of weird boat hire track? And then I was like, oh yeah, of course, derp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway, we can't really have... I don't think we need it much longer, so... We'll put this, like, there. And then... I guess we can just put this over here, I guess. Yeah, why not? Um... I know why not, because this now it makes it very difficult for other things to hook up to over there. So we need this, and actually you... You too, you... No, you need to be on the other side of there, and the entrance needs to be there. Rightio. Well, let's see the supports now, and let's get some tracks going. No, I didn't want to click you, guest. I mean, sure, you'll be sick. <laughs> I insta-believe you. I don't really care if you're insta sick. <laughs> then you should not have gone on the right. And I know they look so tempting. They're designed by me, <laughs> so of course I know. But look, I can only build this on water. Why oh, is it that tight here then? I thought we had more space there. Oh, that's of course where the terrain makes a small dent. Right now, this is going to be tight, but I do believe. Oh no, we can't do that. Not like this. Alright. Alright, so yeah, then we do need to terraform over here. That's not so bad. It's only these two spaces that we really need it. So yeah, look at that. Perfect. And then we can go to the other side. Oh wait. We cannot. So the exit just has to be over here. Alright, fine. <laughs> I mean, well, that's it, you know, no compromises. If that's how it needs to be, then that's how it needs to be. Fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't really mind that much. I've, in fact, I'll probably switch them around, really. But, look, and we'll go over here, and then we'll go around the fountain. And, oh, <laughs> there is still the fountain. Oh, we're actually heading at the fountain. I want to go around it again. Thank you. There. Yeah, it's those trees that are obscuring the view. It's always the trees. <laughs> Everything that goes wrong is always the fault of the trees. Now, I'll place you over there just for the time being. And I will put it like this. Yes. Right. So, um, let's quickly pause this and let's see. Ideally, I'd have the exit go... One up, straight, another one up. And then I'd have the entrance really just follow that. So we'd have that go up, two, and then there. Now I could have it go up here, but I think I'll rather make a small dent in the terrain there. And leave it like that. Alrighty. Good. So now we'll go up there. Yeah. Just, oh, no, 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 not like that. This is how it's planned. 
Right. Okay, wow. We are making smooth progress here, by the way. Everything's going as planned so far, and it's... No! Game! Right, I guess we need to think about our expansion right now, then. So, you know what? We're gonna keep that at that spot for now. And we'll just open it up, I guess. Let's see why we shouldn't. And then, if I... Yeah, perfect! Alright, nice! Now, of course, our uh, bow tire still needs some setting up to do, so we might as well get into that right now. You gotta be kidding me. The freaking last park of the whole Corkscrew Follies expansion does not have all the boats unlocked. What is this for cheap ass screwing around with professional tycoons? I mean, really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just why? The original will have this much better covered where this was available even in the earlier parks, but... Oh well. Uh, despite that, you know, two passengers, two passengers... Yeah, we need to be on that max here. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go for a maximum passenger count, really. Now, we'll crank this up to five bucks. And I know, the track is absolutely, ridiculously, horribly bad, but, uh, yeah, I don't mind, really. I do, but, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe because there's fountains and it goes below other tracks, the guests will actually like it. They'll be, like, looking up and then <laughs> catching the water from, you know, the sploosh -loosh over here. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Now, um, we will call this, um, yeah, th this was the beginner's, uh, rowing attraction, right? We would have a one for the pros and the other lake, so we'll call this, uh, yeah, the small water exercise size, like this? <laughs> I don't know really. This is probably uh, spelled wrong, but hey, <laughs> I am not known for good English. <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Now, this is uh, open. Um, do we need anything else, really? Well, I could give it a color spray, I guess. Thing is, uh, I quite like these colors, to be honest. Why should we recolor this when I quite like it? Usually we go with blue. I don't want to go with blue. This has a warm, fudgy feeling. We're gonna stick with this. Screw it. We're not gonna change it. So, then, um, what we would need to do is... Now, this is a new area of the park. What we're gonna do right now... Remember how in the first video I talked about this expansion over there? We're gonna get that so that the pathing of the guests doesn't go haywire and uh, yeah, we need to get that sorted. And then we're also gonna get this whole area sorted with benches and I don't know if this is really needed. You know, shops and facilities. But at least the path and the benches are going to be a thing and that we need to do right now. So yeah, let's get to it. We need a new entry sign. Oh, no, there. Yes, and then we need benches. Uh, you know what? We'll we'll do this in one go. We'll do the path right now. So now this was the plan that we had all along. Right. We'll just go up there, and then we'll remove you, and then just like this. This was the plan, and that's how it's going to be. We don't really need no entry signs there. It's not really needed. You know, we also don't need map kiosks over there. But this is going to tremendously increase the amount of uh, guests that are coming over here. So a well, you know, benefit of this really is that any ride that we have over here is going to see a major increase in guests going to it. And, as it happens, I do have something planned for over here. But we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first, we need to get these covered here as well. 
And this is only half the story because, um, well, you know, these guests, they vomit and they throw up. And currently, we have no measures for those guests in place, and that's no good. Uh, look at the guests coming, man. It's July, and we are about 50 guests shy from our target. If we can get, I don't know, 700 in year one, and that's optimistic, right? I mean, I'm fully aware of that. But if we can get that, we're in business, man. Now, for this area, this stretch, and this one, it means two handymen. I know, I know, two. So, I mean, any pathing issues that we might have had, this stretch of path is crucial in circumventing the issues so this is really a, a sound investment if you ask me there and uh, you'll cover that bit too and then you and the other new guy you will have this one yeah no <laughs> yeah let, let's assign you one and then immediately unassign it right <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no so oh and you'll also have the exit covered there well, it's actually a rather large area, but I'm sure you're up to the task, so... Having set that up, let's enable the trees, and... The next ride that I was talking about is going to be a coaster, because as of currently, we only have one of those, and we need more. And... I do have a spot for that in mind. And that pretty much refers to the thing I just said about I have something in mind for over here. That coaster is closely related to that statement. Now, um, what I have planned, basically, and that might be somewhat difficult to realize, is a coaster with also an underground station. And uh, that basically has a station all the way up to here. And then is mostly around this area here. Also the hill. It needs to utilize the hill um, in my eyes for height difference gain advantage stuff. And then it will have an underground return. We're probably entering the underground somewhere over here. And then doing its thing back to where it came from. <laughs> or where it needs to be. So that's the plan. Now, I know that there is this uh, annoying thing there, and I need to be able to, well, you know, work our way through here. So ideally, what we'd have is a station at height oh, 10, I guess, or 9. If 9 is possible, then we're golden. I mean, 9 is too above the path here. 9 is not possible because of uh, this path that we just built. Balls. Alright. Well, in that case, plan B. Height 8. That means that... Oh, I mean, where is this station, actually? I don't even know. Um, if I were to... Alright, so... Hold on a second. One more... One more station. Hold on a second. Do I see what I see here? And is that just? Is that correct? I do see what I see here. And what I see is that we just found ourselves at the place for our station. It's going to be right on the very map border because there's nothing there. So we can choose any height we want. Now the entrance is of course... Uh, going to be here, and I'm not going to hook it up to this high section. This is just going to be. There isn't going to be anything other than perhaps a shop and a stall. We're going to hook it up towards this new section over here, and then the exit will squiggle that somehow over here as well. So it's going to be set up rather good for repeat guests as well. Alright, well, uh, you might wonder then. Okay, damage. Which coaster is it going to be? And I'll show you which it's going to be. The one that we're going to need, you. Uh, we could also go with this, but really, right now, cash isn't flowing in our pockets that steadily. So we're going to go with this one. And once this is built, I mean, technically we have two. Realistically, we only have one coaster left to build. 
That means um, that my friends over here are going to be researching, uh, still at max speed, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know really know what I was clicking that for, but we're gonna get new coasters. So, good! Well, um, it's all planned. Let's get ready to <laughs> build. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Right, uh, we need to first remove the tree here. Now we're gonna build it one above the path. So, there. This is how it's going to be. And I guess if I do it like this and go up, it doesn't allow. So we need to be one further back. This is where it's going to be. Now we'll build the station, max length out. That's not an issue at all, because there isn't anything back there. Very good. Right, you need to be going too. We'll have the exit, I guess, over here. We can even build this right below. That is amazing. You know what? Because we're a little bit shy on money right now, we are just going to hook this stuff up at first. It's also good tradition, so it isn't like I'm... Well, you know, I'm because of finances, I'm forced to do things that aren't really smart. No, this is this is smart gameplay. You know? Good tycooning, what I'm doing over here. So, yeah. think right now that this is on the border of the height limit. I don't think I would have been able to lower the height any further. Zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> uh, it's a shame it wasn't the. Uh, they speed up. <laughs> that would have been even more hilarious. Right, so that's that taken care of. And then let's get this. And let's get it all sorted right away. Um, yeah, we're not gonna have this underground, so we're going to terraform this and then up to over there. Seeing how it's not underground, we'll remove all the greenery from over here. No, I don't want it to hook up over there just yet. So. Mm. That's gonna go up. So I guess we'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, huh? You know what, we'll go up here. We'll go in straight, which means digging it in. And then, I guess... I don't really want it to hook up over here, but I don't really see any alternatives, so there. Right, this isn't really my ideally sized cube, but hey, it is what we have, and yeah, I guess, I guess it will do. Now then, um, let's, oh yeah, no, let's go up here, not at the back end, and yeah, we need to go up first to be even able to do anything, and then we will lift it like this. Look, and now we're gonna go up the hill and hopefully utilize, nice, 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 utilize this hill to great effect and great height gains. Now there's two ways we can go right now, we could go above the path, but that's not where I would like to be. Instead, I would like to be over here going further up. If we can manage even above uh, the exit or uh, the entrance here, I doubt that that's gonna happen. But if that's not gonna happen, we can always move one to the side and then. I don't know. I don't really want to cross the bridge with this coaster, so we're gonna stick to this side. I also don't even want to go that much over here. I want this to be mainly over here and a lot above the water. So we'll only be here with this section to gain height and speed. Uh, the rest is not really, you know, well, it's not going to be here. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, okay, fine. We'll go around. Okay, so right now we're just hitting issues because uh, that's what they are, issues. Oh, now that's interesting. I don't believe that if we were to go up further, yeah, see, height limitations. So this is really it. We now need to go down, down, down till we hit flat ground, which is about over here. And the cost right now is rising. I oh, don't like that. <laughs> 
Um, I also don't like this curtain of supports being that close up there. So I guess we'll lose one height, which doesn't make that much difference in terms of speed, but it does greatly uh, in terms of uh, supports cluttering. You know what? We could even have it go down one further to lessen the supports visible even further. Now uh, we'll go up by one. And the speed won't be that high on it. So then we'll go down. And this time, you know what? Because every coaster needs a good drop. Uh, maybe not that good, but we'll go and then up. I don't know if... Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's even going to work. Well, clearly the game just gave me the answer. Um, let's try this again. I guess we don't need to go that deep. And then we'll go up to, uh, let's say, like, height 14. Ooh, the best value park in the country. Wow, we just got an award. And that's good news for us, because that means more gas. Oh. And I look at my finances, and I see that those gas are sorely needed. Gas? <laughs> wow, it's empty. Then again, we are almost on our target, but that's in August. Can you see? And right now, I mean, we are pulling off crazy coasters, fast rides, and that 2000 man is tight. And we're still even, we're still just building this ride over here. Now, we want to go in the ground over here, so we could do a shenanigan over here. And then we would, we really already do need to work our way over here, because we also need to get back. So, um, First, we'll get our last bit of money from the bank. Now, we'll do the shenanigan I was just talking about. Which, I guess, will be something like this. And there. Right now, we're at height 12, huh? Yeah. Okay, at height 12, it's interesting because well, we can go... Over here. Uh, maybe do a quick curl around. And then something like this. Totally acceptable. And then, uh, no, we would need to drop it lower uh, first. Uh, so I'm guessing something like this perhaps. Uh, another drop. This leaves us at height 10. Uh, which means that we're going to go tight like that. And then there is a bloody tree in the way. Which we don't need there. Now let's just able to support and continue building. There, in mean, this view, because that's the one I was building in. I mean, I really, you know, when I'm building, I really have it that if I just all of a sudden change view, I totally lose my bearings in, like, where I'm building with the coaster, you know? Maybe it's familiar when you're building, but I really have that, you know? It's like some kind of mental disability for me to rotate the design in my brain. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, moving on. There, we'll now go into the underground, and we'll just raise that by one bit. Now, we are at height 8, uh, we can actually drop this one down quite a bit. And, uh, well, we'll go straight for a while, and then we'll go up to height 8, I guess. Ah, uh, well, we can't really go up that high. So, we are at height 7 right now. Which, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll still have quite a bit of decent speed, I don't know. We also don't need the trees enabled, because uh, that's not where our interest is. Now, in terms of money preservation, I think right now it would be the best moment to head back to the station. Oh, and we're actually in line with that. Perfect. So we'll go down by two, and then we'll go up. Okay, we'll go down by one. <laughs> this is just, you know, to keep it from not being a complete straight set of straight, and we'll have at least some track in there. You know, some variation, some excitement. 
Right, well, this is hooked up now, so I guess we can go to uh, testing straight away. So, right, well, um, very good. Now, um, what we need to do, well, you guys, what's your test right now? We also need to set up the floating marshmallow, and we haven't even checked the ratings, so let's check those out. Oh, my good grief. 6.37, however, it's also very long. It is 500 seconds long, and we got 12 boats, which means that the minimum waiting time, I don't know, should be somewhere around 13 seconds. <laughs> really, just wet finger rough guesswork, but hey, <laughs> that's how it's going to be. Look. Wow, look at the speeds, man. There you saw this big drop. I think that's incorporated pretty solid, actually. Yeah, I don't think we have too many too high speeds in there. I mean, look. 37 kilometers, and then 25, and then... To me, this looks rather good, if you ask me. So, uh, in that light, we will charge 6 bucks. Just, uh, you know, this is already uh, taking advance on what the rating agency will give it. I don't know if it's that good. Is it that good? No, we don't even have test results. Right. Fine. Uh, now, we won't open it because that is just, that's just going to lead to disaster, really. Right. Now, the ratings should come. Just judging by the Gs, I think we'll be all right. Uh... Well, just open it. If it's too extreme, nobody will go on it anyway, so... The guests already know these ratings in advance. I mean, this is just for show, really, not yet available. The guests know it perfectly fine. It's not like the c computer needs very long to calculate this. I mean, I got a bajillion core working at this, and uh, this game was made back in the day of the Pentium, you know? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these ratings are calculated in less than a millionth of a second. If not even less. Anyway, um, we will call this... Oh, yeah, we're speaking out millions of a thing. We're going to call this Nano Coaster. There. You know, speaking about the small things, I think that that is... Ah, oh, yeah. Clever and cool name, that is. I also quite like this track design. It's not the... Well, it isn't that compact, but it does leave space for other coasters to run through over here. And as it happens, more coasters will follow here, and most likely they will also be over here, close into this area. That is going to be the aim of the game, at least, to get our next coaster in this area of operation. It's not going to be that difficult, actually, I think. If we take a look, yeah, I do. I do think we have some possibilities here. Anyway, um, we just named this one. We still need to set everything up, like, uh, for example, a proper paint job, because no, we're not going to keep another black tract right here. Also, the supports are going to be different. They're going to be uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not what we had. Uh, we could go with that. I don't like it that much, though. No. I don't like that either. We go with this. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Because of the other coaster. Yeah. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting something out of this. How does this look? Nah, 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 that, that doesn't match properly. The white, though, on the other hand, and then... What if we go with blue and... No, 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 no. Green, perhaps? No, yellow, just bright yellow. Yeah, it's a little bit offbeat. The contrasts aren't that sharp, but the track, I mean, just so purple. How does this, um, this brown look, this one? No, that makes it too much camo. I quite like this. Yes, all right. We're going to go with this. Yeah, we'll do that. Fine, then. Um, this is it. Now, we aren't 
completely finished with it. Even though we will soon be, uh, what we need is some benches, which we'll get right now. There, and yeah, over here we need every, every bench we can build. Uh, let's also get a handy dude for that area. Oh, and I think we might have ratings now, and maybe they're not that good. No, they're perfect! Look at that! 7.24! Wow, this is almost a grand coaster. And what did it cost us? A little over 5 grand. Wow. <laughs> oh man, yeah, these drops in there, they're doing amazing. And there is even a small chance that this coaster might be suited to our concerned rain... Our considered, I mean, rainproof. Yeah, nice, 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 the nano coaster. Yet another one of our successes. Good, and this is gonna ring in the money that we so sorely need. Now, handy dude, we need you. There, handy dude. And we also need uh, a fix mechanic, you. And, oh wow, actually the handy dude uh, yeah, you also need to go all the way over there, I believe. Otherwise, you won't even be able to uh, cover the entire exit. And I think that right at the exit's door is your most important spot. <laughs> now, three mechanics to cover the whole park. I think for right now, that's just about doable. But wow, this coaster man is 7 in the ratings. It is amazing, it is more than amazing, it is freaking awesome. So, with this very nice addition to the park, let's say join me next time when we will build more and hopefully even more awesome things. So, see you then.